hours after the Southeast region launched its um, joint security outfit codenamed Ebube Agu, Abia State Governor Okeze Ikbazu has explained why the governors took the decision. Ikbazu, who spoke from Umuahia, the Abia State capital, during an interview on Channel Television's Sunday Politics, said the new security outfit would oversee and monitor vigilante groups' activities in the region. Today, we have come together to synergize and see how best we can protect lives and properties of citizens within this geopolitical zone, he said. Security situation across Nigeria, as it is today, is dynamic. We are just trying to respond to our peculiar circumstances in the Southeast. When asked if the new security outfit would bear arms and wear uniforms, Governor Ipazu neither confirmed nor denied it. Abia Governor explained that he and his colleagues from Anambra, Imo, Ebonyi, and Enugu would cooperate to ensure that operatives of Ebube Agu would be properly equipped. Ebube Agu would be a security outfit both in name, purpose, and action. It will be pro properly equipped. I want to assure you that all the states in the southeast already has various vigilante outfits. In Abia, we call our own the Homeland Security Outfit. In Enugu, it is called the Forest Guards. But we want to call for a harmonized, synergized system of action to be able to compare notes, to be able to set up digital platforms that can respond to communication challenges, he added. Speaking further, Ipazu said the new outfit would be rural-based, adding that it is also going to be intelligence-based. The governor also spoke on his administration's strides in Abia, noting that the state since his assumption into office in 2015 remains one of the safest states in Nigeria and we have the statistics to show for that. His remarks come shortly after governors from the southeast established a security outfit called Ibubeagu as part of plans to checkmate the rising unrest in the region, stemming from an increase in criminal activities. According to the communique put out by governors of the southeast, the agency oversees and monitors vigilante groups' activities in the region. Chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, David Umahi, who read the statement after the, a meeting in Imo State, noted that Ebube Agu Security Outfit headquarters would be in Enugu State. So if what uh, Governor of Apia State is saying is anything to go by, he's trying to make uh, the public understand that the real reason why they set up the security outfit is for them to coordinate the activities of the vigilantes. So probably it doesn't mean that they are uh, and to gather intelligence. So it doesn't mean that they really have to fight um, it's, uh, insurgent bandits and uh, you know, full on headsmen and all what have you. Well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold if that is the case. But however, the governors have not been able to explain how this would affect the Eastern Security Network, which is truly an issue on ground as we speak. It is a very massive one that needs to be looked into and addressed as the case may be because the Eastern Security Network are on ground and they are actually working hard and they might be um, they might be 
collision between both. That is, uh, uh, they might be crossing each other's paths. You know, their interests, uh, clashes of interests will eventually occur. How do they intend to handle this situation and uh, deal with it? It is yet unknown as at this time as it is. But we'll keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story, as it were. With what is going on right now in the southeast, you would probably uh, not uh, blame the governors for coming up with the southeast um, uh, regional outfit at the end of the day. But what you can blame them for is that where were they all this while? Why didn't they set up this outfit all this while? And what lots of people are saying is that if they had established the regional security outfits long ago, you know, probably we wouldn't have the Eastern Security Network today. As led and coordinated by Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. But it remains to be seen how they would manage the affairs of all the vigilante groups across the Southeast States. Another thing that is still unclear about the Ibobe Agu security outfit is would they be armed with firearms or not? The governors have not come out to state this as it is. But it is important that, you know, they state what it what would be. It is important that they state what would be. And in that as well, they also need to be able to deal with the issues that may arise in the course of the issue. Taking the way Amoteko in the Southwest is being run, they need to be able to also address the issues and um, fully understand what they want the what they want the vigilante groups to actually be doing. Well, be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. So, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. And they want to share this news story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones. So they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support. I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.